a family, uh, in this case, plays by, by Mark and Rose, who uh, decide to adopt three children all at the same time. The inspiration for the movie, um, Sean and I decided we wanted to write a script about a family that adopts three kids, and we wrote it, and at the end, he loved it so much, he was like, I gotta go get three kids, so. Sean adopted three children, and about four or five years later, we decided it was funny enough that we should write about it, and we did, and uh, the script turned out pretty well, and we kind of shopped it around, and we got some interest in it, and we showed it to Mark, and Mark loved it, and signed on, and from there, it kind of just steamrolled, and here we are today. It was fun because I got to point out what an idiot he is, so that was good. Because um, he, he made a lot of mistakes, and uh, we used those for comedic <laughs> purposes. And uh, and we we kind of his story was actually fairly boring. Like he, uh, his kids came and they were they were actually really great kids. Uh, so we had to embellish a little bit. So we added a teenager, and it was based on a, uh, a woman that we met named Maraid. Uh, you hear that? Uh, so we kind of we implemented some of her story into the script, and uh, yeah. Maraid uh, came from foster care. We met her doing research, and we liked her. She's smart and, and uh, just a great person, and she inspired us and gave us ideas, and we've collaborated. We made her a, a consultant on the movie and then we brought her from LA to work on on the movie with us and she's been here the whole time she's been fantastic we've been really lucky all the all the women in this cat like usually we write like male focused like daddy's home and uh, hot tub time machine or what you know horrible bosses too where it's just it's like guys doing guy stuff and so this was the first time we had a lot of women and it's been you know it was fun for us to write these characters and and all the women in the movie have been fantastic uh, rose and uh you know, octavia and tig and julie and uh margo and even uh, isabella you know young lady she's a fantastic actor and they've all been super nice Crazy fun to work with, just fantastic people, so couldn't be happier. Octavia, we just we love Octavia, and we we're like, if we can get Octavia, and we had a meeting with her, and she said she loved the script, and we were like, oh my god, this is great, we can get Octavia. And then we were like, who'd be a good sidekick? And we were kicking around ideas, and I think we were just watching Netflix, and we saw uh, Tig's documentary, and we were like, what about Tig? She'd be fantastic. And then we had a meeting with her, and she was awesome, and she's just an inspiration. And yeah, we thought the two of them together is gonna be fantastic, and it is. <laughs> I mean, Octavia, we, we had already written the script kind of towards her to try and help, you know, try to get her to do it. Uh, but Tig, yeah, we, had, we went through all her stand up and we watched like her delivery and her cadence and her word choices. And we kind of tried to write her scenes that would fit to, to how she would deliver them. And, and uh, yeah, she, she knocked it out. And she also ad libs things and she's, you know, the funniest person on set and she cracks everybody up. You know, not to, toot our own horns, but we, we were trying to, wherever we could, if you came from foster care, if you had adopted kids, if you had something to do with the, the world of it, we wanted to include you. And we cast actors who had come from foster care. Uh, we employed people on the crew who had come from it. And uh, just anywhere we could, we tried to gather these people and, and bring them on board. And then we've partnered with different groups and organizations who also do foster to adopt. So. Hopefully we don't scare people away from it. <laughs> uh, that's the, we had to draw a fine line between uh, making it too scary, uh, so people were like, "I'm never going to do that." But uh, hopefully, by if you can make it to the end of the movie, if you don't walk out, you'll see that there's a happy ending and it is worthwhile. And hopefully, people will look into it, and, <laughs> and maybe we'll get some kids adopted at the end of this. When Sean was talking about uh, adopting the kids, because I have two kids, and he's like, he didn't know, any, you know really like what it's like to be a parent. My advice was, there's two things. They're loud, and they're sticky. And if you can handle that, they're just kids, and they'll 
wherever they come from, they're just going to be kids. They're going to be loud. They're going to be sticky, but they're going to be kids and it'll be fine. And yes, he has a transitioning period, which is what the movie is about. But eventually, yeah, they're just, they fit right in.